Guys, stop driving your side-by-side -side unless you have a windshield. Stop driving in the rain and the snow and the cold. I know you're doing it, you're toughing it out. Just spend the money, get the front and back windshields. Links are in the description. All right, let's go check them out close up. All right, back in the heated garage. Welcome back, my name is Shane. I'm in the Amazon Associates program. And what I like to do is highlight the awesome deals on parts, gears, accessories uh, for the motorsports life, ATVs, side-by-sides, dirt bikes, street bikes, you name it. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about the front and back windshield on this CF Moto U Force 1000 XL. Now guys, obviously you can drive it in the rain, your side by side. It's made to go out there. I was just kidding. But today we're gonna get into the pros and cons of this. So let's check it out. All right, so right out the gate, I'm gonna start with the first pro, or the first con, I mean. <laughs> the first thing I really don't like about this windshield is they need to put, they should have had some kind of bracket or bolt or something to support the middle windshield here on the top. The bottom, not so much, because it kind of hits here and the bodywork actually keeps it in. But the top, they really should have done something else. Um, other than that, the, the, the gasket seals up good up here. Again, this U-Force has a roof and has a nice lip over it. So you know, I don't really get too much rain in there. But sometimes going down the trail or going down the road, it can bounce around a little bit, right? But uh, pros are, it was super inexpensive, super easy to throw on. It's just these Velcro straps that hold it on, which sound iffy maybe, a uh, Velcro, I don't know, but these things are like an inch and a half thick and they were, they were hard to even get on. And so I can attest to the fact that they hold up really well. I've had this on the trailer, open trailer going down the highway, probably 85 miles an hour. And yeah, the windshield was bouncing around a little bit, but everything held, the straps held. I think technically they want you to take this off if you're trailering it, but it's kind of a pain. So, but guys, I'm telling you, I left it on. It was just fine. The other con that I don't like about the poly versus maybe a glass windshield, which I'll link some glass windshields down in the description, is this poly scratches really easy. You have to be super, super careful. Even when you're cleaning it, you got to use a microfiber cloth. If you've got dust and dirt all on it and you just take any regular rag and start rubbing, it's just going to scratch it all to heck and get all hazy. You want to try to hose it off first as much as you can and then try to only wipe it with a clean microfiber cloth. So that's pretty much it on here. It's got a nice rubber gasket that seals up really well all the way around and for the, for the money, this is really, really high value windshield. All right, let's check out the rear. All right, back windshield. Now, you know, I was telling you, same thing with the front. This rear windshield is poly, and so it scratches super, super easy. I mean, I don't know if you can see these scratches here. I'll try to get a close up in a minute, but this is just from, I've thrown some brush or some tree limbs I've trimmed down around the house, thrown them in here, and and they scratched it up pretty good. What I do like better about this rear windshield versus the front is this one comes slightly tinted and the rear actually has bolts holding it all the way around. So it makes you feel a little more secure. Like I said, I've never had an issue with the front, but you just can't beat bolting it in. Um, same exact rubber gasket that the front has all the way around, seals up really good. The only thing I've noticed, this rear one, is on the corners you know this might have been from me installing it a little too tight maybe or something but the rubber has kind of split in the two corners over here again i'll try to get a close-up shot of that here we are so this is the one corner you can see that split and i think this bottom one yeah you can see it's split and rusted a little bit not a huge deal again not the end of the world uh, yeah, there's some more scratches from the brush you can see on the back, but it doesn't really interfere too much. I don't care so much on the back. It's really the front that gets annoying when you've got scratches. 
you guys want to see a video about me reviewing the Colpin 72 inch plow that I plow my road and my driveway with, check out the linked comment down in the description for that too. And uh, thanks, please like, subscribe, share. Definitely go and buy these right now. I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't know why you're toughing it out. Oh, there might be a sale. Amazon might stop selling them. I don't know. Go buy them now before it's too late and just start enjoying life. It makes life so much easier if you're plowing, if you're just out enjoying the trails, having the windshield keeps you dry, warm. You know, if you're working with it around the ranch, you gotta have one. All right, thanks guys. See you next time.